Hello guys, welcome once again to Daily Trends on PNX News. I'm Patience Anya. Now, before we go into the details of today's stories, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment under this particular um, um, video. And most importantly, remember to share. Mm. So this, there's this story that has been trending on TikTok saying that, um, as we all know, next, ma um, next month, that's coming February 25th, Nigerians are going to the polls to vote for who becomes their next president. But there was this rumor or alleged um, um, video reporting that former president of um, America, Donald Trump, have endorsed Peter Gregory Opi. So everyone is asking, is it true or it's not true? So we all know, um, we all know Trump for his control versus on social media, but um, the, the president who was f a former businessman and a TV personality took over office from 2017 to 2021, after which Joe Biden is now the current president of the United States of America. So if you don't know about Peter Obi, Peter Obi is the f was the former um, governor for Anambra State in Nigeria. And so he ruled from 2014 to 2017. That was the time that Peter Obi ruled as governor for Anambra State in Nigeria. Now... He's been known for his accountability. So it's this accountability that he's been known for. That's why everyone thinks that Trump has endorsed him. And we know Trump to be the straightforward man wants everything to be on point. So that's exactly what happened. But Peter Obi wanting to be president, he came with some aspirations that he thinks that when he becomes the president of Nigeria, he can put in place to make Nigeria one of the best countries on in Africa and on the globe per se. Now, the, 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 the aspirant said that he has this vision of bringing women into power, bringing women into power, most importantly, and he talked about light issues, and we all know about the light issues in Nigeria. He also further by stating about, uh, um, uh, let's say, uh, like protection, let's say protection. If we mean protection, we all Nigeria has a lot of rumors saying people dying every day, um, SARS and other um, terrorists attacking people, the Boko Harams and all the, those people. We know about how they used to attack the individuals in Nigeria. He also says, he also fed that by saying that he would rather spend on education and health rather than any other thing in Nigeria. He feels like investing in education and in the health sector will rather boost the, 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 the country than, than in investing those money into other things like fuel and, and, and many more. So he stated by, he further stated by saying all the people, including the youth, are supposed to be the rulers of the country. He believes that when the youth are being kept into power or are placed into power, they can work extremely to put Nigeria on the globe. So those were um, some of the things that Peter Obi said, that when he becomes the next president of Nigeria, he would like to put in place. So if Peter Obi becomes the president, as, um, as the polls, so they'll be going to the polls on the 25th, then that means Honorable um, Dati Ahmed is probably going to be the vice president of Peter Obi. And Peter Obi is also the leader of the Labour Party the Labour Party in Nigeria. Now, people are asking, why did Trump endorse uh, uh, Peter Obi? Because the video was seen on TikTok. It was trending viral. So everyone is saying, why will, P um, uh, will um, Donald Trump endorse Peter Obi? They are asking, uh, is, is, is Donald Trump having any relationship with Peter Obi or did Peter Obi go and pay 
something small for Donald to just say that, okay, vote for Peter Obi so that he can be your next president. So everyone is just surprised about it. Now, he also says that he feels like he is capable of being the president because he has the capability, he is qualified, he said he has the commitment, he has the stamina, he has the government experience, and he has the track record since he has been the governor for Anambra State from 2014 to 2017. So he believes that he can also do that. Now he said, most importantly, Nigerians can trust him with their security. He, he's emphasizing on that. Now, he, 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 he released a post. He released a post on his Instagram page. So let's read that now. Now, Peter Obi said that, I call on all Nigerians to unite our efforts in the journey of taking back our nation from the cold hands of corruption, insecurity, and unproductivity. 2023 is a very critical year that will determine the next direction of our nation. Now, this nation cannot continue in all the round retrogressive movement in the coming years, as that will result in its total collapse. Now, he further said that 2023 is an existential year in the history of our nation. It is a year we all must unite against the continued abuse of our nation's democracy and economy. The power is in our hands to take back our nation this year and make it work. Now, my commitment is securing the country, unifying the nation, and moving it from consumption to production. I call on all Nigerians to hold me accountable to my promises for a better nation. When I am elected, I have made a pact with Nigerians and I will not leave any of my promises unfulfilled. Nigerians can hold me accountable by my words of promise. I wish Nigerians a very productive 2023 and urge everyone to remain law abiding while contributing to the growth and development of the nation. So that was Peter Obi's press release saying that he Nigerians should hold him accountable if he's not able to fulfill his promises as he has said in the statement but you know most Nigerians, uh, you know, the, the, when you ask most Nigerians, I've, I've, we've, I've met most Nigerians on the streets, and if you ask them, who are you voting for? They are like, they are going for Peter Obi. If you ask them, they'll be like, yeah, Peter Obi, because they believe that he is going to bring the youth on board, and he is going to progress Nigeria as a country and bringing them back on the globe and in terms of security, in terms of light, in, in terms of their health, education, like everything likewise that concerns their life. So that was exactly what he said. And Nigerians are extremely happy and they are hoping that he becomes...